What's up, you two? Just heard a great song. Running some errands today. I haven't heard this song in years. Do you remember this one? Don't tell me, do you think it'd be all right? If I could just crash here tonight You can see I'm no shape for driving Anywhere I got no place to go Remember that tune? Stuck in the head now. All right, listen, not to overwhelm me with vids, but I got a pile of knives in there that I gotta get rid of, okay? They gotta go to the storage unit. The baby is crawling all over the place and she doesn't need to get in any of that stuff. All right, they're all just kind of sitting in there waiting to be reviewed. So I'm gonna start knocking them out now, okay? It's time to start knocking them out. And first thing I want to talk about, I was at the local pantry earlier. Guy says, what's that on your hip? So amongst, you know, the thousands of people on YouTube that ask me what my EDC is, I just added another one to the list. <laughs> you know, I always carry the buck 110. Not today. Today, I broke out the buck 539. This has got that amazing S35 V as in Van Halen, N as in Nantucket. I love this knife. It's pretty much always close to me. It's always within reach. There are a lot of knives I do keep, you know, handy, close by. And then mostly all the other ones are put away in safekeeping. As I said, especially now we got the little girl. She's just motoring all over the place. And I just don't need her getting in any of this stuff. So for all you that wonder and worry about that, trust me. Grandpa Seabob here, he ain't going to allow anything anything dangerous around that little that little squirt so anyway the buck 539 highly recommend i've had for a few years as i said it's got that s35 vn steel and you guys know i know all about steel i mean it's my middle name i know good steel versus bad steel I know grinds, you know, better than the next guy. I really don't, all right? <laughs> all I know is this thing's pretty much held its edge. Let's play with some damp uh, paper here, all right? Damp paper is always fun, all right? So this buck is one of my favorites. That, uh... That sits close with my, my 119, my favorite, 124, the Frontiersman. And of course, you know, the 110. That's when Buck was just great. So for them to come out with this a few years back, they really hit a home run with this. They really did. All right. So with that being said, let's get you why we're here today. The Kershaw Camp 10, model 1077. I haven't used this yet. I just opened the box, checked it out, and it's been sitting in a pile for a few months. So today we're gonna play with it just a little bit. I went on YouTube, there's a lot of videos on this, so I'm not gonna get all te technical. Just gonna have a little fun with it. Now, most of the ones that I've seen, everybody went with the black on black. I went a little different. I went with the tan. I went with the tan. And there's a main reason. Because I want this to match Donnie B. All Day's custom Jeep. I think I'll look pretty good sitting in that passenger seat with this 
on my side. <laughs> Dangling out the window. <laughs> anyway. Um, guys know all about the sheath. I think you do. I guess it's Kydex. Right? A little snap here. But once you unsnap that, that bad boy's coming out. I like the sheaths that kind of, you know, click in there and that's it. But the sheath, hey, I haven't had a problem with it yet since I've never used it. But I guess you can strap it on your, you know, horizontally, vertically. Put it on your, uh, your, you know, your bug out bag. Um, there's some uh, la lashing, you know, holes, rivets here, whatever you want to call it. Hey, I don't have a problem with this sheath. I mean, I've seen better and I've seen worse. So let's talk about this big guy here. Ooh, I like that grip. It's got like that, that rubberized grip. Yeah, it's got nice weight to it. I'm not sure what it weighs. What's it say here? Uh, nothing. Just says model, camp 10, model number, 1077. Country of origin, China. So this was basically made in Oregon, China. Okay. Uh, what's this say on the blade? Pardon me. I got to put on the reading glasses. 10771. Ten. Something underneath it. All right. But uh, like that curve of the recurve. Kydex sheath. Fixed blade, full tang, 16 inches overall. The blade length, I'm just reading this here, 10 inches. Blade thickness, 0 0.20. Blade material, 65 M Night Shyamalan. 65 M as in Motley Crew. N as in Nazareth. So 65 MN, they call it a drop point on this. It's got a flat grind. It's got that black finish on it. Edge type, plain. Handle length, 5.97. Again, that's pretty darn comfortable. I like that. The material is like some sort of a rubber. And I can see it like, you know, riveted, pinned in there somehow. I don't know about that skull crusher there. It's like a hard plastic. I wouldn't be busting open any coconuts with it. Let me see. Oh, look, wait. One pound, 2.20 ounce. Feels, feels uh, heavier than that for some reason. Again, Kydex sheath. And uh, I've seen other sites where they call the sheath something different though. You know, but... um. Anyway, what do you want to do? All right, you want to have some fun? Do you guys like that tan, huh? A little different. I believe if you go on Amazon, this is like 52 bucks. They call it the Camp 10, 1077. All right, uh, let's just see if we can have a you know little fun here. All right, all right. Still don't got my workbench yes. yet, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Here we go, first time using. Second time using. And then we're gonna check the blade. Look at, what are you doing here, dude? Come on, where's Donnie B all day when I need him? <laughs> all right. Okay, so we know we can get through the little guys. All right, let's go a little bit bigger. Come on, little bit bigger. I 
I could definitely see some trailblazing with this. All right. Need to make your uh, tent sticks. Here we go again. This is going to slide all over the place. Gar, run, heed. Let's see if we can uh, trim off this edge here. wasn't slipping, I would have been done already. You see that knot that I'm taking off, right? No problem. No problem. See, here's where it slides. I'd like to do some, uh, I don't know how, Leo, don't come out here, boy. I got the knife. I got the machete. This is the Kershaw. Here he goes. We're gonna try to get him in. Hey boy, where are you going? Hey, come here, come here. Guys ever meet my pooches? Ralphie and Lee? <laughs> Destroying my back door. Linda's gonna kill me for that one. Where were you? All right, back to this again. Too slippery to really do this. But guess what? It's going through a lot better than I anticipated. Taking some nice bites out of this. I like it. And finally, what's in there? I'm not gonna go any further with that. I'm gonna do a water test, a blade check, and we'll sign off. All right. There's Mr. Water Chug. All right. I dedicate this, dedicate this, Water, bottle, test. Come on, think of a good one. Come on, think of a good one. Uh, Donovan too. And Donnie B all day. I was in a really bad mood yesterday. And both of those guys, they knew how to pick me up. So here we go. This goes out to you guys. Ready? success let's check the blade putting on the old glasses yeah I could definitely see the black coming off with more use but you know what <laughs> not a ding or a dang and, and, and the black is still there. Guys, a little diamond in the rough here. Check it. I highly recommend this. This might be the best $52 I ever spent. Last I checked, it was 52. Could be less, could be more. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for watching. And I got some uh, more videos coming to you guys soon. They might be like kind of rapid the next uh, few weeks, you know. So um, be safe, everybody. See you soon. Love one another like no other.